just as we were leaving the road, look at what we found. A beautiful elephant, and it looks like a little baby. It was actually just throwing all kinds of dirt on its back. How blessed are you guys here in Sri Lanka to be able to drink these every single day? Okay, this is crazy. Look at what's hiding underneath this rock here. A big Buddha. And this view is amazing. The hike is totally worth it. And let me just tell you guys, this hike is a must-do one in Sri Lanka. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another beautiful day here in Sri Lanka. Today I'm talking to you guys from Sigiriya, a destination here in the country that I've been wanting to visit for so long. Last time I was here in the country, I didn't have enough time, but now I'm back and with a little bit more time, so we're here. Now, today is actually day four of the Tuk Tuk tournament. We didn't really record day three. We decided to just enjoy the road. However, today we're on our way to knock out a big challenge. We're gonna go on a big safari and hopefully see some elephants, crocodiles, maybe even a leopard to get all of those points. Now this is Andrew's first time um, going on a safari. Are you excited? I'm excited, man. I'm trying to see some elephants, some leopards, some crocodiles. And He's never seen an elephant in the wild. The main thing is though, we need them for the challenges. So. We need them for the challenges. Gladys is over in this direction. She has her uh, safari outfit on. Yes. Are yes, you excited sir. for some elephant time? I'm excited for elephants, birds, crocodiles, maybe leopards. A little bit of everything would be nice, to be honest. And our tuk-tuk is holding up nice and strong. Donkey hasn't gone anywhere. Yesterday, he was losing his mind. I think the batteries probably ran out by now. But everything's holding up well, even throughout the rain. So, yeah, let's check this oil. This is how we start every morning. Sure let's see if Andrew remembers well, where the dipstick is. I think he does. It's super bro, easy. tuk-tuk mechanic now, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Found it, found it, found it. <laughs> But this is something we got to do every morning to make sure that the tuk-tuk is um, not running low on oil. Yesterday we greased it all up because we had a crazy adventure, to be honest. I wish I would have vlogged yesterday, but Gladys did. So if you want to see day three's uh, tuk-tuk tournament, go check out Gladys's channel. I was freaking out most of the time. I think we're good. And I think we're good on oil. Let's take the picture for the application. We'll let Gladys be on charge of that. She's actually upset right now because there's a small little glitch in the app, but... They're going to get it sorted. The Tuk Tuk rental team is on top of it. Right now we are in fifth place, but we ended in second or third last night. And um, we're trying to get back up there to the same spot. So hopefully we can make that happen. We got about how many minutes drive, Gladys, to the safari? I don't know. <laughs> I thought you Sorry. told me something like 45. Oh, yeah, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And we're actually staying in a beautiful resort right now. I wish I could show you guys this place. It's super gorgeous, but we're in a rush right now. We got places to be, things to see, and elephants to see. All right. And, oh, Gladys, we got some exciting news to tell these people. What? We dropped a mixtape yesterday. If you guys want to <laughs> see that, go check out my Instagram. Um, we made a Tuk Tuk rental, Tuk Tuk tournament Hello. song. We actually had to create one as part of a challenge, and we made a remix to uh, Gundam style, but it was Tuk Tuk style, and it came this out is pretty my good. Tuk -tuk. Where is your if you guys tuk -tuk? like my backup dancing, my at is at Crazy Juice, so you can get at me if you need some backup dancers. All right, my moves are pretty, you know, fire. Yeah, Andrew was in the back doing all the dancing. All right, well, let's start the journey to the safari camp, the elephant safari camp. Shouldn't take us long at all. All right. You hear them horses, boy? First things first, we were actually heading to the national park, but uh, Andrew reminded me to check the gas and we were almost out of gas. So we just pulled into a gas station and we're about to top off. I'm gonna let you guys know exactly how much it costs to fill up a tuk-tuk. And yeah, it's very important to always make sure you're constantly filled up with gas because you never know when you're going to come across another one. Now, right now, the situation in Sri Lanka is amazing. There's fuel everywhere. But a few months ago when I was here, about six months ago, there wasn't gas pretty much anywhere in the country. It was very specific locations and you had to have a QR code. But they've done completely away with that system and now there's fuel everywhere. So you can just show up and fill up your tanks. Hello? Okay. Full, please? Thank you. And um, to be honest, it's quite affordable to travel in a tuk-tuk as well. I believe it costs around nine US dollars to fill it from completely empty to full. And I think on this entire trip, we spent probably about $60 in fuel so far. I mean, it's only day three, but we've been 
or day four, but we've been moving, like zigzagging, doing all kinds of crazy things. All right, we got gas. We are filled up. It only cost us about five US dollars. I don't think, I think the gauge might be a little off. So five US dollars and we got 24 minutes till we make it to the national park and hopefully they have some room for some elephant safaris. What's up, man? These are like the safari trucks that we'll be cruising around in. So I'm excited. Let's get on over there. So we just got pulled over by the police uh, for a quick, quick minute, literally. He just asked us where we're from, where we're going, what are we doing. Um, I accidentally told him, oh, look, palm reading. Oh, my God. We're going thereafter. That's that's a, a challenge. We got to go. Um, <laughs> but basically, there's checkpoints everywhere in Sri Lanka, police officers everywhere, and they're there to keep you safe. A lot of times you'll get pulled over and they just ask you for your license, ask you where you're from, and they send you on your way. But one thing to keep in mind, don't be one of those dumb tourists that has a beer, that drinks a few beers, and then drives on the road. Here in Sri Lanka, it's 0% alcohol level. If you get pulled over and you have a beer in your system, you're going to jail. There's no question about it. So um, keep that in mind. Don't do it. Don't do it at home neither because it's not safe. All right, we're 15 minutes away now. The thing about road tripping around Sri Lanka is that you always have to add a lot more time to every destination that you're heading to because you're constantly pulling off on the side of the road, admiring amazing views. And then look at this. We just saw a herd of buffalo crossing right in front of the in front of us on these wetlands and there's a beautiful mountain in the background and there's easily about I don't know, 20 buffalo out there it's amazing um, and as you navigate around the island you come across different species of animals like buffalo um, elephants some people are lucky enough to catch leopards out here it's awesome Just pulled over on the side of the road because Gladys and Andrew spotted a buffalo carriage. Um, Hello, good morning. <laughs> Weird question. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Can he sit there and, and ride? Yeah. Yeah, please. Wow, Thank you. Your people is so nice. You have something you say. I go that way? Thank yeah. you. I think Gladys is next. You're next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Only in Sri Lanka can you do stuff like this. This is Matma and Peter. Matma and Peter. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you so much. Wow, what a nice gentleman. Great experience, too. 
Where else in the world can you just hop onto a buffalo carriage and drive? All right, now it's time to make our way over to the elephant park. Man, this 20 minute drive is taking us like an hour and a half already. It's quite crazy. I have a question. How many elephants have you seen today? In India. Huh? Yesterday, 10 elephants yesterday evening. Yesterday evening. Oh, 10 elephants yeah, yesterday, yesterday evening. Yeah. And today, nothing yet? Today, uh, yes or no? <laughs> Any, uh, no vehicle entrance to park today because uh, uh, yesterday, no elephant. So we made it to Mineria National Park and this here is where, well, a lot of the elephant sightings take place from Sigueria. And unfortunately, we just talked to the park rangers and they said that they haven't had any elephant sightings uh, today or yesterday. Now, the beautiful thing about the Tuk Tuk Rental Tournament or the Tuk Tuk Tournament is that there's actually a group chat. And Gladys found out about a location that's what, 25 minutes away? 25 minutes away, Kaudula National Park Safari. And a bunch of people you were saying shared pictures yesterday from there yeah yesterday they shared let me see if i can show you very fast yesterday they shared this they said they saw like a hundred elephants so so many people asked where is that and they said that location okay cool so let's go try that let's go try that it's just that guys the safaris can get very expensive and along the way on the roads you can actually see jeep and safari rentals everywhere where they'll take you on excursions but obviously those people would be like yeah we're gonna see elephants let's go but we can't promise you anything then you give them your 150 200 us dollars and chances are you won't see anything so coming to the park ranger office is always the best the best bet but um we got a lot of time on our hands we got 25 minutes uh to spare so we'll take the 25 minute drive see you guys at the next national park and to be honest i don't know about you guys but the drive is it's, beautiful yeah. it's enjoyable i'm happy for the 25 minute drive either way <laughs> <laughs> any drive in sri lanka is a good time all right yeah. see you guys there hello sir you do safari yes yes how I, much yeah twelve thousand. Twelve thousand? Yeah, yeah, twelve thousand. Sri Lanka. For the whole truck? Uh, three hours. Three hours, twelve thousand? Yeah. For all three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, you have a uh, elephant? You buy ticket. You buy ticket, government ticket. How much is the ticket? Uh, three. Uh, thirty-one thousand. Thirty-one thousand. Yeah, yeah. And then twelve thousand for you? Twelve thousand. Yeah. Is there ATM? Uh, Mineria. Far, huh? Yeah. Damn, we need cash. Yeah, do dollar here. Dollar here. Oh, I think I have yeah, dollar. Yeah. Maybe dollar. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Cool, so we just met this gentleman on the side of the road that's actually um, a safari owner or a safari jeep operator. And he's actually gonna change us dollars into Sri Lankan rupees. We didn't have any rupees on us. I don't know what we were thinking. I thought that you could just pay with card at the entrance. But uh, this is the entrance to the national park and the safari owner's right here. So let's see if we got the cash. Sounds like a good deal though. I guess the entrance to the park is 32,000 for all of us for the for, to bring the Jeep in. And then we got to pay him 12,000. You said 32,000 for park entrance, right? Yeah, uh, please wait and uh, call him for you uh, government ticket and counter man. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's, let's see what happens. Hello. Ciao. Ciao, how are you? I'm fine. How much is the ticket? Ticket price. That's the price. US twenty dollars. Yes. Okay. You stop the vehicle and you can see. Come. Let's go. Okay, so we ended up coming up from the side of the road to buy the ticket here at the entrance of Kaudula National Park. And it is twenty dollars for adults, ten dollars for child, fee for tur tourist services, ten dollars and yeah all of the fees are here on the board but yeah let's have a look yeah 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 is there a lot of elephants today yes okay awesome yesterday a lot of tuk tuks came here from no, our group not yet no yeah you are the first time we're the first ones today yeah yeah wait wow you, you have you want the jeep to go inside yes how much is the jeep yes jeeps i think it's, uh, 10 11 11 000? yeah can you bring jeep here for us 
Yeah, why not? So 20, 20, 20 plus Jeep. Yeah, 25, I think, for the one, one person. Uh, government price. $20 government price. I'm confused. Oh, are those egos. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, do we, can I pay card? No. Only cash? Yes. Okay. So we, I don't think we can do this today. We got to go get cash. Where's the nearest ATM? Mineria. Mineria. Let me look on my map. Where's Mineria? Oh, it's 25 para no, no países de aquí. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $25. Uh, 15 kilometers. Dang, 15 kilometers. Is that a crocodile in there? No, no. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, so maybe we go to Mineria and come back. Yes. Okay. What's the? Is there still elephants here? All day, yeah, elephant. Yeah, I have so many, but the best best time is past the 1 p.m. Oh, past time. 1 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we go get cash and we come back. Cash, lunch, come back. Cash, lunch. We need lunch, man. <laughs> yeah. Hungry. Yeah, but first you uh, confirm the Jeep because uh, in the evening time. Okay, we no confirm the Jeep. Yeah. But I have no money. I need ATM. Yeah, yeah. You, you confirm for the driver. Okay, let's confirm. Yeah. Man, min Minera so, so far. It's very far, Minera. Yes. Minara, Minara. No. Minera. Here you go, sir. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Come, Oh, you need help? No? Oh, this is a Bolero. Yes. Bolero. Mitsubishi? 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 No. no, no. It's a Bolero. Oh, it's a Bolero. It's, a, yes. it's its own brand. Yes, made oh. in India. Wow, these are awesome. We went back to the safari and the guy actually told us that they had no signs of elephants. So he recommended that we come back and do it a different day. And just as we were leaving the road, look at what we found. A beautiful elephant and it looks like a little baby. It was actually just throwing all kinds of dirt on its back. Kind of um, like a little shade covering to cool down. But it is just amazing that you can see these animals right on the side of the road. I think he's actually grabbing a bit more dirt right now to throw up onto his back. Just so beautiful to see though, seriously. How do you feel seeing an elephant out in the wild for the very first time, Andrew? Amazing, bro. I was so like, I didn't think we were gonna see one today, but we seen one on the way back from the safari. And how you feel, Gladys? Scared. Scared, it's huge, huh? Even a baby elephant, when you see them up close and personal, they are massive in size, guys. And if there's one around, chances are, there's a lot more around as well, so. Like you um, said, this one looks like a baby, so I'm sure his mom or dad is around, and they are probably a lot bigger than this A guy. lot bigger than this little guy. All right, well, mission complete. We saw an elephant, but no safari. That elephant was exciting, but there's only one more thing that gets me more excited in Sri Lanka than elephants, and that is a nice tambili. So right now, we are sitting down. Gladys just got hers in hand. How's that one? Exactly what you needed today? And my coconut's getting cut up right here. Whoa. <laughs> we like to drink it like it's more fresh, more fresh. I don't know how they do that because I would take my hand off if I did that for sure. I attempted a few days ago and I could barely, barely hit the coconuts uh, top off. But her, her knife looks a lot sharper than the one I was using. Are you already done with yours? I want one more. You want one more? Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Is that your son? Yeah. Oh, very cute. How old are you? How, how many years old? Seven. Seven, very big. Man, that is so good. Amazing. And nothing like sipping a tambili on the side of the road. It's always the best. How blessed are you guys here in Sri Lanka to be able to drink these every single day? We ended up stopping at the house for a few minutes. These are the little 
glamping domes that we've been staying in. They're around 90 US dollars a night. To be honest, they're super beautiful, cozy, and the property itself is very nice. We're right in the middle of the jungle here in Sigueria, and they also have like these actual um, rooms that are not the glamping tents. That's actually what I thought I had booked, but um, those must be bigger establishments. But this place is super gorgeous. Over in this direction, they have the restaurant, swimming pool area. I'm going to show you that right now. But we are on our way to a very famous viewpoint that actually looks over at the Sigaria Lion's Rock, which I'm really, really stoked to see. So we'll be making our way there now. Oh, I see a little chipmunk on the on the beach chair here, or the lawn chair, or pool chair, I guess you can call it. But yeah, look how beautiful this hotel is, guys. We got a big pool, a bunch of chairs to lounge around in, jacuzzi that's not hot obviously because it's super hot here but it's very nice very nice hotel i can definitely recommend it when in sigiri it's called niva du what did you need uh my cell phone or room uh, key room key room <laughs> room key i don't got your phone there you go but yeah this hotel is super nice the restaurant is right here they got free breakfast with the room stay bunch of tables pool table up there very recommendable all right guys well now we're heading over to the rock it's about a 15 minute drive from here this is why this place is actually such a good base it's only about 15 minutes from uh, lion's rock so we'll make our way there now So we just got our tickets. These here were a thousand to enter, enter. I can't pronounce the name, but I'll leave it down here. Another viewpoint to Lion's Rock. And let me just tell you guys, Pidurangala. I'm already smoked. What is it called? Pidurangala. Pidurangala. And we got a long way up from what it looks like downstairs. Now, according to reviews, you can get up there in like 30 minutes. However, they say on average, it takes about 50. And I've heard some thunder already, so. Hopefully the rain stays away. But yeah, super beautiful area. I mean, look at this. Hiking through these incredible rocks. Wow, this is awesome. It's so beautiful. And they do have like lights to, that they probably turn on here in a bit, hopefully. Because everything we read online says bring lights, lights and we have no lights. All right. Like how many they build yeah. And this is all a temple, so there's temples in between the rocks the whole way up. Super cool. Hopefully we're going the right way, huh? Because there are steps like and trails going in every direction, but no arrows. Exhausting. I think you gotta be in shape. At least medium shape. <laughs> okay, so you always see like all the pictures of all like all the Instagrammers on top of this rock in beautiful dresses and clean shirts. They definitely bring outfits with them. This is brutal. You definitely gotta be in good shape to make it up here or semi-decent shape. And I don't think the all the curry and rice has helped with this climb at all but it's beautiful it's stunning look at this but we still got a long way to go and we've been at it for about 20 minutes now 25 Oof. 16 minutes oh it feels like an eternity Oof. i think this is our sign to get out and hike more we got to get stronger for sure haven't done this in several years Oof. Like I said though, this hike is beautiful. Look at this view guys. Incredible. Mountains as far as the eyes can see. Whew. This is unreal. It is definitely worth doing though. It is worth doing. This is incredible. Feels like you're on top of the world here. You can only imagine what it feels like when we make it to the top. Oh. 
Okay, this is crazy. Look at what's hiding underneath this rock here. A big Buddha, a lion Buddha. Only in Sri Lanka do you find items like this sitting high above these incredible valleys. Unreal. All right, so after passing the Buddha, you come across this area where it really starts to get a little sketchy to climb up. But I read this on the reviews. Everybody said it only lasts about 10 to 15 minutes from well, where all of these uneven rocks really start. So we're going to start this climb now. And hopefully, yeah, it doesn't get uh, worse than this. Because I'm not in the best shape, as you guys can tell. All right. Oh, there is a rope. Awesome. We must be getting near then. And come on, it's a rope in Sri Lanka hung to a tree. You can trust it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Okay. All right, I think we're almost there. Here you go, guys. You don't need it, you can just jump. Yeah, there you go. You wanna hold on the rope? Here, I'll hold your hand. Here. I'm sorry. Hold my arm. Hold my arm. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there. It's not that bad of a hike, guys, to be honest with you. You just really have to have a little bit of hiking experience and um, be in some decent shape. I'm not in decent shape. I'm in pretty rough shape right now, but the hike is like I'd say moderate And also incredible look at this Not many places in the world you get this kind of landscape. This is awesome So we made it to the top and unfortunately I didn't show you when everybody was up here but man this view is amazing the hike is totally worth it we flew the drone I hope you guys enjoy all the beautiful shots and let me just tell you guys this hike is a must do when in Sri Lanka it is a bit tough but if you come here early enough you can get here early now Andrew's doing our last gem of the day taking the Simba pose you gotta go oh, <laughs> there you go and we say bye to the Lion's Ruck. Sigeria, you were amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys again soon for another one. Later, guys. Look at this view, guys. Wow, what a place. I'm so blessed to be able to be here. So blessed to be able to see this. Dreams come true. That has been a few that I've wanted to see for many, many years. You were always modern.